and welcome to Mars. We have a new image we could look at. I wanted to share with everyone and uh, there's some interesting things going on. This is a image on Gigapan and I will put the link to the original image in the description. But uh, this was put together and enhanced by uh, Neville Thompson. So I want to give him credit. He put this together, enhanced the, the quality, <clears throat> pieced it together into a nice panorama. And um, this is from Saul 508 and 509. And we'll get started by zooming in a bit. And it's a beautiful picture. And to give you an idea, uh, we'll zoom into some different areas, but uh, let's start with the one that really caught my eye, and that's uh, right here. <clears throat> let's take a look at this. Now this, um, it's not a rock, and if you look closely, it's a very large piece of equipment, possibly a vehicle, and it's got a netting, camouflage netting or protective cover or both over it. As you can see, it's draped here and there's things laying on the back here of the, of the netting to keep it down. In the front, they've twisted it into a little twist here and buried the so it doesn't blow away in the wind. And that's a pretty amazing shot right there. Um, don't take my word for it, just take a look at that on your own. But <clears throat> that's a very large piece of equipment or a vehicle and you can see the, the netting or the cover. Uh, this has been stored, it's probably mining equipment and uh, when they're stored it to protect it, hide it until they come back to use it again I would imagine. Um, take a close look at that but that's uh, pretty amazing. Let's go over this way, I'll show you some other pieces of equipment that probably don't look like equipment to you but I've been looking at this stuff for a long time. This is not a rock here. This is also another piece of mining equipment of some sort. Uh, you can see it has sort of a track here. <clears throat> and I'll just move quickly through. Uh, this is also not a rock. This is equipment. Let's take a look at this. This is a big structure of some sort, possibly equipment, but it's covered also in a netted type of camouflage. Uh, to protect it, I guess, and also maybe to hide it. And right next to it is three vehicles covered in a some different types of covers uh, to protect it from the elements, I guess. Here's another vehicle. You can see the track kind of partially buried in the front. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is covered or if this is the actual metal on the outside. Uh, this is another vehicle here. I've seen many of them in this shape. Uh, you can look at those more closely. Over here we have a couple of more uh, parked, covered pieces of equipment. Uh, probably this as well and this. I can't get too close to those, so I can't. Uh, this also looks like a piece of equipment here. It's not a rock. Um, <clears throat> let's click quickly move along to another area. I want to show you some ancient ruins. Um, this is an interesting little area here. If you look at the, the panorama back, back, uh, pan it back a little bit, this is all ancient semi-buried ruins and we zoom in and it's almost like steps going up to this big structure and you might say, oh, it's just a rock. If you get in a little closer, you can see where my cursor is here, the little tiki gods here carved into the rock, see the head and the body? and a big head face carved into this one and another big carving here. This looks like uh, the roof of a structure. This is another carved head back in here. <clears throat> this is pretty ornate. This is a very large structure, so you gotta look at this knowing this is quite a bit bigger than it looks. Um, for instance, this these look like they could be steps or a road goes up into the behind the structure here. Uh, there's more carved things here. This looks like it's all partially buried. Here's the tip of something that's buried with a carved face in it. You know, I'm 
speculating as to what these were, but they're thousands of years old. <clears throat> um, on the end of this long carved thing, there's a looks like there's some sort of a head or something carved into the end here. Pretty amazing. Go up here. This looks like they were carved uh, into some sort of fish heads or something, but I can't get any detail out of that. Um, one last thing here before I let you look at this on your own. This looks like a vehicle of some sort. Here's the nose of it, a window. It's obviously a machine of some kind, possibly <clears throat> spacecraft or mining vehicle. Um, this big thing that looks like a rock here behind it, probably not a rock. It's probably a structure that looks like a rock. Here's an interesting rockish looking thing that has a big carving or something over on the top of it. Lots of things to look at in this one. Anyway, I'll put the description, uh, I mean the link to this in the description and play around with it, but um, the most amazing thing that really caught my eye was the covered equipment here. And Just look at that closely and you'll see that that is a netted cover over a large piece of equipment. Anyway, happy hunting and keep me posted.